Many small businesses have taken a hit over the past few years due to the pandemic. In response, the Ministry of Digital Affairs has launched T-Cloud Marketplace, which helps brick-and-mortar shops establish themselves online in the virtual world. On Sunday, Digital Minister Audrey Tang dropped in on a popular oyster vermicelli soup restaurant in Ban Chiao to find out how the business was faring under the new system. Want to order a bowl of vermicelli soup? Easy! Take out your cell phone, place an order in the Line app, and it's done in less than 10 seconds. Digital Affairs Minister Audrey Tang dons an apron and becomes a server at a popular oyster vermicelli soup restaurant in Banchao. Many small businesses, such as food vendors, have taken a hit in the past few years due to COVID. Their income has taken a dive. To help these shops, the Administration for Digital Industries has set up T-Cloud Marketplace, an online platform. Not only can you place meal orders and telecommute on it, businesses can also purchase cloud solutions and apply for government subsidies. Now more than a year after the platform's launch, Minister Tang is visiting businesses that have joined the program to see the results. When we introduce any digital transformation tools, the most important aspect is our friends on the ground and whether they are having an easier time and peace of mind. I experienced the whole process just now, and it was indeed labor-saving and reassuring. I think when it comes to digital transformation, the first step is the most important one. As we open the country and welcome tourists, it is very important that we get into the habit of using mobile payments so that foreign guests will find it really convenient when they arrive. Having signed up to T-Cloud Marketplace for just a year, the owner gushed about how much time the system has saved her. Within 10 seconds, we get the order. Compared with taking a phone call, which takes about three to five minutes, the difference is huge. And since the information on it is very clear, we don't need to verify information with the customer. People who come into our store are used to the conventional way of ordering, but customers online are highly receptive to this new way. So you're actually expanding your customer base and not changing the habits of existing customers. This is using technology to suit the habits of a new generation. Taiwan is pushing for digital transformation so it can create a new economic model for the post-pandemic world.